Hi, my name is Ashley Miller. I'm here at the Education 2.0 Conference, and I have a special guest and award winner. Can you please introduce yourself and tell us a bit about your organization? Yes, hi, I'm Amber Hill. I am an author and educator. I um, established my new business, Epiphany Hill Enterprises, but I also work for Columbus City Schools as a district PBIS coordinator, and I'm also an author writing children literature um, diverse literature for our youngest learners. Congratulations. Thank you. And as a multifaceted woman being recognized, being in attendance here at the Education 2.0 Conference, how does it feel to be acknowledged, accept an award, and what has your overall experience been like? Oh, the experience has been overwhelming. I am, anybody that knows me, I'm a very humble person, so many people don't even know I'm here. <laughs> because I don't like to always showcase all the great things that I'm doing, but I don't do what I do for the award. I do it because this is what God has called me to do, but to be amongst amazing educators and other um, people and experts in their field has been overwhelming. Everybody has been nice. I've been getting all kind of um, nuggets that I can take home with me and you know help me overall prove some of my skills as an educator, so it has been Amazing, amazing, amazing experience. I'm so glad to hear that. And with that being said, Amber, and congratulations on the books as well. That's mind blowing. <laughs> what inspired you to go down this route and take on and make these changes that you made within the education field? Well, um, God, it's funny how, you know, God put us in different spaces, but ever since I was a 10 year old girl, I experienced some racial. Um, Things that happened in my life where teachers told me I was not going to be anything because of the color of my skin. But that motivated me to be great. I had wonderful parents that spoke life into me and told me not to worry about any of those negative connotations. They spoke over me. But as a young child who always, kids always gravitated to me, I knew at that age that I would eventually be an educator because I never ever wanted any child, no matter what color their skin is, to feel the way I felt and not to love education, because I love being at school, but that the way my teacher made me feel made me not want to be in school. So for me, I do this work because I am called to do, and it's what God has placed on my heart. And I believe it's my job and other educators' job to speak life into our kids and not tear down our kids, because we never know what gift God has given them. And it's our job to nurture that gift and pull out the best of them. So. That's what inspires me every day to do the work I do. I want everybody that I come into counter with to have a great experience when they, they experience Amber Hill. Amen <laughs> to that. Thank you for not allowing that to keep you from living in your purpose. And like my grandma used to say, you never know who God's angels yes. are. So that that hit home. I'm definitely glad that you decided to go down this route. Mm -hmm. And with that being said, for other individuals that definitely can relate to your journey, they can relate to having a teacher or maybe someone that had a very authoritative role in their life mm -hmm. kind of be negative or play a role in maybe making them unconfident. What are some words of encouragement that you would give to them? Oh, I, was, I tell everybody that come, you are, be the best version of yourself. God made each one of us uniquely made. There's no copycat of you. <laughs> it's only one of you. And no matter what anybody else say, God put you here on this earth for a reason and a purpose. And it's, our, it's everybody's job to pull that out of you, but if they don't just remember God has you and God has a purpose for you and nobody can take that gift away from you but God. So if you have nobody else that is an advocate and champion for you, just remember you got one person. That's God. That person. And, they, and that, he's the man, you know. <laughs> he, no one can take that from you. So despite whatever somebody can say, Amber Hill could be a champion for you and that you, just be the best version of you, nobody else. And that's the only way you could succeed in this world of being your uniquely God-given you. <laughs> that is amazing. And Amber, with hearing your journey, your experience, and being able to inspire people in this moment. Where could the virtual audience also connect with you online as well? So you can connect with me on epiphanyhillenterprises.com, E-P-I-A-P-H-A-N-Y, Hill, H-I-L-L, 
EpiphanyHillEnterprises.com. Um, my social media platforms is Epiphany Hill Enterprises on Facebook, so uh, Instagram, LinkedIn. I'm Amber Hill and Epiphany, so you can connect to me those platforms. Okay, y'all heard it first. Thank you so much for doing what you're meant to do, following your journey. Yes. Congratulations thank you. on everything you're achieving. And it's been a pleasure being able to interview you. No, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.